Hey everyone, Brian here from the Protocase team. Today I'm going to talk about W bending. Here at Protocase, we help you keep your projects moving by manufacturing your custom sheet metal parts. Bending is a crucial aspect of the manufacturing process. We use press brakes to bend your parts into the desired geometry. We covered several different topics around sheet metal bending, including minimum bend, radius, and many different types of bends such as hem bends, jog bends, and step bends. Check out the links below in the description for the full playlist of sheet metal bending prototech tips. Today we're going to talk about a specific bending technique that can create geometry that would otherwise be impossible, the W bend. Sometimes called back bending, W bending creates deep U-shaped profiles without the need for specialized tooling. W bending uses a few different steps in order to create a deep U-shaped profile. First, the slight bend is formed in the middle of the part. From there, side bends are formed in order to create a W shape. Then the middle bend is flattened out to create a U-shape. If you try to create a deep U-shaped profile without using the W bending, the press brake tooling would hit the material. Before W bending, we would have to separate the parts into two parts, complete the required bend on each part, and then weld them together. W bending simplifies this process significantly, so long as the design will work within our constraints. So what are the constraints? First, W bending is a verified process for our stocked 5052 aluminum in the following sizes. If you require a deep U-shape in any other material, contact us and we can discuss your options. As with any bending process, there are size constraints to keep in mind. The minimum width we recommend is 3.75 inches. If the height of your part is more than 2.5 times the width, the maximum height is 13 and a half inches. If the height of your part is less than 2.5 times the width, the maximum height is 23 inches. The flattening process from W bending may result in your part being one degree from perfectly flat, also, flattening the W bend may increase dimensions measured across it by up to 10 thou. Cutouts in the same face as a W bend may become distorted if they're too close to the W bend. For this reason, we recommend keeping your cutouts at least 3 quarters of an inch away from the middle of the face. However, cutouts centered across the W bend should have only minor distortion. Parts cannot have flanges crossing the W bend. Let's talk finishes. Parts that have a W bend will have a small crease where the part was flattened. This is most visible on the outside of the part. It is possible for our team to buff the crease, but it may still be visible. Green Finish does a great job at hiding the crease in your part. However, in the area where buffing and regraining is performed, the material often comes out below the normal tolerances. In fact, buffing a crease at all may thin the material below its tolerance. The best option for finishing your W bent part is to use a textured powder coat. These powder coats do an excellent job hiding the crease in the metal. A glossy powder coat, on the other hand, will make the crease much more visible. So to sum up, W bending is a great way to create deep U-shaped profiles without having to split the part into two sections that have to be welded together. If you have a part that you're ready to quote, use our request a quote form or contact your Protocase account manager. You can always email info at protocase.com if you're new to Protocase and want to connect with an account manager. Check out the description below for links about W bending and other Prototech tips about bending. Thanks for watching this week's Prototech Tip and we'll see you next week.